Hello everybody, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Rebel Inc. Escalation! We have a couple of decisions to make as far as which map to pursue next in our uh, Curious Bulldozer campaign. Um, weak Coalition soldiers are not great, but they're very good for support, so this is okay, but not amazing. Excessive funds diminishing over time doesn't bother me too much as long as we are not using the Banker. Garrisons cannot be built in remote zones is pretty unpleasant, but not a huge deal. No air initiatives, though, is surprisingly difficult, so I think ultimately we're going to end up doing this one. Uh, suffer ongoing loss of reputation when they control cities or towns. As long as we keep them out of urban zones, that's not so bad. Actually, which one's worse? I think it's going to be this one. We're going to go for Cashew Grove next. They're, they're relatively even, I think, in terms of their difficulty. Um, extra funds when insurgent camps are destroyed is pretty nice. Uh, I think we might actually want to go for the banker this time around, simply because we might get some extra cash as we destroy things, but the lack of air initiative is pretty rough. So let's try for the banker, which means we want to start off with as much money as possible. For our empty advisor slot, we are going to be going for the extra support in urban areas, so we are hopefully able to get better security and prevent the insurgents from taking over the urban war zones in the first place. Delaying them wouldn't be a half bad idea, but instead I'm going to go for initiatives that uh, provide more zone security. Empty advisor slot, I'm going to save this because only three of them are generally useful, so I want to save those for the last three maps if we can. As far as this advisor, we want to go for the private donor to start with more money so we can get the bonuses for the banker ticking a little bit sooner. Um, increasing the strength of national combat, not as big of a deal. I think we're going to go for... we can't do airstrike, so let's go for the instructor because it's a relatively useless advisor. I almost never take advantage of it anyway. Might as well burn it out. Um, and let's see, chance of rebels taking casualties. Actually, you know what? Let's do no instructor here. There's no point. We don't need it. Um, extra casualties can be good. Airstrikes mean nothing. More garrisons aren't bad. I think we're going to go for the... Honestly, I don't need any of these. None of these are beneficial on this map, so I'm going to use no advisor. We're just going to hold off on that in case it ends up being beneficial. Until we know what the next couple of maps perks are, I tend to like keeping my cards close to my chest just so I have some flexibility going forward, if at all possible. But it does mean that this map is going to be a little bit tougher. We're going to set up an HQ in this location. This is the Pistachio Forest, which is my absolute bane, and I hate it. We do need to go for our standard lineup, even though I wanted to have some extra cash. Extra interest for the banker is generally the way to go. Sitting around $20 is ideal, so we can generate lots of extra interest, which we are getting a little bit right now. Uh, I want to get the regional census, so we'll do that. As long as we sit above $10, I think we have a chance of getting a little bit of extra interest, which is nice. But the idea with the banker is you just want to roll in some serious dough. Um, now, let's see. As far as interest, people already want telecommunications. That's a little aggressive, but honestly, I'm going to do it because if it can get us a load of extra early game support level, that's not half bad. Remember, we started with some early support level thanks to one of our perks, which is pretty huge for us and will let me stabilize at least a few extra zones. Now we need to go for the outreach office because I want to start working toward that universal justice. And it also lets me set up telecommunications a little faster, which means a lot of stacking support bonuses. Let's get that support level from the uh, universal justice. Still holding on to a little cash. Next, we're going to want to go for the PR battle. Holding on to some money so we can get some uh, military initiatives pretty quick. We can go for strategic communications before they've even fired. Look how much support level we have right now. That's huge. Okay, we did find a specialist depot. That could be useful. I'm going to go ahead and authorize a coalition soldier now so we can go and grab that. Hopefully we don't end up needing it, but you never know. Uh, still sitting on some cash. I kind of want to burn down some corruption, but I think for now what I want is some roads. What do we want? Highways or regular roads? I'm honestly leaning toward regular roads in this case, so let's build a level of those. Just because I think moving around over here ends up being kind of a bottleneck. Highways are good to get, though. Don't get me wrong. We're still moving very slowly. I don't like that. Okay, so they're in the mountains. Honestly, if they stay there, that's fine. So I'm going to go for a national soldier, and we're going to get garrisons early and try to keep them contained, because as long as they've only spawned here, we're going to get a garrison in one of these areas, hopefully over here. So let's go ahead and grab that now. Okay. So we have the rural specialist. Do I keep it? Use it? I mean, these are all rural zones. I think getting the specialist and using it makes some sense. We're not going to go chase them into mountains. Uh, so we'll go ahead and apply them here. That said, I see a camp, so we need to get rid of this. And quick. A garrison up there makes 
very little sense unless there's a camp nearby, and I suspect there is. Wait, I saw it? Camp right here. Okay, so actually you're gonna move here, since that was close to where you were to begin with. You should be able to transport quickly. We're gonna use you. You go quickly from the HQ. And that's both camps that we should be able to destroy pretty quick. Land preparation for extra reputation is nice, um, but it's pretty expensive. I'm gonna do it anyway. But now we're running low on cash, which means we are not getting the per perks of being our um, banker, which I don't like. All right, so we got rid of this. You're gonna stick over here because this is an easier area for me to contain. You need to stick over here, but we need to get more troops to try and get rid of you. Uh, we need to reduce corruption a little bit, so let's do that. They're sticking around in mountains. They can stay here. That's fine. I can't let you go very far, and I do not want you taking this remote area. That's going to be tough. They are going to be fighting me over here quite often. Let's actually go over here and try to take care of these guys. They must have another camp up over here, which is bad. Uh, I kind of need more troops. I also kind of need more security so they can't go into these zones without taking some damage from police. Okay, now we're starting to have issues. I need more coalition soldiers. Because we're going to have some trouble actually keeping this all under control now. There's too many of them and spread out into too many zones. Let's get over here and try to contest. Okay, um, there's definitely a camp over here. Okay, they're retreating up in that direction. I would like to fight them over here and see if we can crush this. So we're going to try for it. I want to get rid of this group before they become a problem. That said, it looks like they're a problem anyway. I can't get airstrikes. Remember that. That's a problem. I need more national soldiers. Okay, we were able to kick them out of there. Let's go contest this area. Now I feel like I kind of do need highways because we need to be able to move around fast over here. A garrison here is great. That's a very good spot. Okay, so they're pretty well stuck over here. Um, I need to fight you back, and then we're going to go try to go for a kill. I don't know if we're going to have enough reinforcements here. We might. Might. It's going to be tough. Are they going over here? I think they are, and that's fine. So let's try to fight this and try to get rid of this camp. It's going to be tough. Ah, uh, must be another camp over here, too. Yeah, they're spawning all over the place. This is why I don't like Pistachio Forest, because it's very difficult to keep on top of everybody. Uh, what do people need? More telecoms? But I've already got that. Alright, I think uh, more roads for faster redeployments and also some combat boosts. I'm okay with you guys sticking in these forests as long as you don't go anywhere else. I can't really fight you right now. Looks like we are winning this, which is huge. So we got rid of that. Good. Um, now you guys need to go here and you guys need to go here, I guess, just to keep them contained. Let's continue fighting these guys. Oh, we didn't actually finish them off. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, hang on. Wait, no. We can fix this. Uh, I just need to move somebody over here real quick. They're going to go over here, but it doesn't matter. Now they're dead. Okay. Whew. That was a bit of a mistake on my part. Okay, we're still contesting here. That's fine. They're going to stick in these forests. Uh, wait, nope. You need to go down here. I do not want them joining up, or that's going to result in a pretty hefty amount of loss of reputation. Okay, you guys can go here now. Good, good, good. We got lots of money we're sitting on as the banker. That's always a good thing. Um, I think we do want the highways, and I think that I want some more corruption reduction. Hold on, guys, I'm getting a phone call. I swear to God, if people don't stop calling me about a non-existent vehicle warranty, I'm gonna sue somebody. All right, um, let's see, how are we doing in terms of... Right now, honestly, we are losing, like, no corruption, which I find ridiculous given how high our, uh, corruption, um, corruption is right now. We're not losing any reputation, is what I meant to say. So, that's fine. Let's go for the police expansion and then reduce it. Cuts a lot of my funds, but that extra security is going to end up being pretty useful. Already moving troops over here. We're not letting these guys join up, so this is fine. Coalition deployment. We're going to have to let them stay, I think, actually. I was going to let them leave, but we're not going to do that. You move over here. Let's make sure they don't spread any further. Um, we need to roll out initiatives. So I'm going to go for the civil assistance. You're going to move down here and just hold this area. I would love a garrison down here. That'd be great. Okay, so we're keeping you out. You need to stay. I'm not going to let you leave. So we're losing some reputation out of that arrangement. I think their numbers just grew, which means there probably is a camp over here. But they're not spreading anywhere, which they usually do if there's a camp. So I don't know. I'm feeling kind of weird about what's going on up there. Uh, we have to get the foreign relations office now, so let's do that. Subtle pressure. Still sitting on enough cash to get some good interest. You need to move down here. Gosh, they're slow, though. They're real slow. Garrison here? Okay, that's a pretty decent spot. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. 
Fighting up over here. So far, no big deal. Not fighting anywhere over here. Could use some reinforcements. Think we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, corruptions, no problem whatsoever. Let's see, do people need anything else? More education. We'll go for school supplies, and we're gonna go for more telecommunications, which is gonna double up really hard on that boost. You are gonna stay, again, lose some more reputation, but it's worth it. Okay, now we need somebody to move up over here, and I'll do that. Finally started to get aggressive in this area. There we go. You I will let leave, because we've lost too much reputation at this point. I'd rather go ahead and hire somebody new. So that's taken care of. You need to go over here. Shouldn't take me too long. Let's get some more national soldiers. Right now, I think we can make do with the four that we've got. I don't like them spreading over here, but not a big deal. Keep these guys contained. I actually would like to clear this group out. If we think we can do that quickly, that wouldn't be bad. Do we think we can do that quickly? I kind of think so. Let's start getting our troops in position. Got some support there. That's good. Okay, they're fighting me over here now. We need to contest. Let's threaten them for some extra reputation. Let's get some more soldiers trained up and reduce corruption again. Losing a fair bit due to insurgent activity right now. Okay, we should be able to win this quick. You're going to move here. You're going to move here. So I want to clear this group before they spread anywhere else. We should be able to do it if we fight really fast. we got lots of reinforcements. Uh, if we're going to do a luxury hotel, we have to do security or it almost always comes back to bite you in some way. These guys are dead. Good. Now we can move you guys over here, and you guys over here. I want to keep this area... Whoop. I want to keep this area and this area garrisoned, so that if they try to spread out of the mountains, we have a kind of defensive boost fighting them. This guy will likely end up relocating to go and keep these guys contained. Though having that extra stability as things stand right now is pretty good. Okay. Uh, more civil integration, roll out more initiatives is actually probably a good thing for me right now. This area I really need to get under control. Doing fine over here. Honestly, this is not so bad, as long as we win this fight right now. Which we are struggling with pretty hard. Uh, let's get some reinforcements quickly. We need more strength for our national soldiers, so we're going to do that. How did you get up over here? I actually don't know how he did this. Do you have any security in this zone? No, only 45%. That's terrible. Alright, let's kick you off somebody else. Yeah, elsewhere for now. I need more garrisons. Give me more garrisons. Darn, I was hoping for a casualty right there. Okay, we have to go fight up over here now. I'm going to move you up here to try and push them back into the mountains. We got more soldiers on the way, so this is about to get a lot easier. Let's move you here to try and get this rural zone under control. Okay, I think they're moving. They are. Let's get over here. We should be able to go fast. There we go. Why are you going here? Freaking get out of here. Do you have security in this zone? 350%. So I should have let them stay here. One insurgent level is not dangerous. It really isn't. Okay, we're kicking you out. Look how slow we're still moving, even from one zone to another. What is going on there? Must need some dirt roads. That must be it. More soldiers. Let's move into this rural area. A uh, garrison here is actually great. Keeps these guys contained in the mountains pretty nicely. Whoa! Almost missed this. Okay, so that guy actually died because of the extra garrison. Now we can move you here. Okay, doing fine. Doing just fine and dandy. I'm feeling solid about this. Uh, let's go for the National Travel Logistics. We could go for Business Advisors. Soldiers increase local support levels, which is amazing. Now you can move here. We actually just got a casualty, which is helpful. You move back over here. Keep trying to build up some more initiatives. Increase those levels of support. They're locating over here, but we travel really quickly on these roads, so that's fine. You, I'm going to let leave can always hire more later if we need to. Um, I would like to get... What would I like to get? I would like to get the remote outreach, a couple levels of that, so we can build up faster in these uh, remote areas. Since we're still struggling to get these guys under control. We could go for some jobs, which would help. Uh, you need to move over here now. That takes a lot longer, but that's okay still. Uh, let's go for the development bank, and then we'll end up going for the remote subsidies, which speeds things along nicely. You're going to go over here and kind of get this under control. Okay, we're fighting over here. Uh, it's proving to be a little tough. Let's get some quick reinforcements. More subtle pressure, 83% chance of success there. This zone is just about done, which means we can start moving in for the kill. Let's go here. Um, I, I don't think I want to let you leave, but I'm going to... L I shouldn't have done that yet. We were still fighting. We lost reputation for that. That was a mistake. Hang on. Move you here. Move you here. We should be able to clear out this group entirely. You need to go here now. Uh, we are going to threaten for a 4% chance of failure, but that worked out. I need more reputation. 
Okay, we should be able to crush this group. Yes. And... Yes, there we go. All right. Uh, fund the military? Sure, let's make these guys a little bit stronger. We have a huge increase in corruption, but I'm not worried about it. Let's go for the democratic transition, and let's go for those remote subsidies I was talking about. You're gonna move down over here. You're gonna move down over here. You're gonna move up over here, and we're gonna start pushing them back. As long as we can keep doing what we're doing right here. So, even without airstrikes, we're actually holding together fairly well, all things concerned. Let's get stronger garrisons, I think that'll be helpful. We are going to prioritize the elections to get that extra reputation. Happy to spend the money. We're the banker. We are rolling in cash at this point. Still struggling over here, though. Man, yeah, having no airstrikes in mountains is generally pretty dang rough. I'm not happy about that. Let's move you here. Okay. 11% um, chance? I'll take that risk. How are we doing in this zone? Doing pretty good. It's going to be a little bit longer. Civil support does me very little good. We are going to get some more coalition soldiers, and we're going to go ahead and just go for as many reinforcements as possible. So we can win these fights, because without reinforcements, we can't win this. Uh, full elections, 27% chance. Woo, that was close. Alright. Yeah, even with all these reinforcements, we're still losing here. Oof. Oof. Okay, there's the garrisons helping out. Come on! Ah, I hate having nothing. Alright, fun military. We need more national soldier strength. Uh, increased pay. Stronger national soldiers. Yes. That's absolutely what we need right now. 17% chance. I'll take the risk. There we go. Okay, they're trying to move over here, but they're not getting very far. Finally, a garrison here, which means we can actually move forward, and we're going to try for it. Don't know if there's anybody in this zone. There's a little bit, but maybe we can win it. You come over here so we can get some more reinforcements. You, I cannot let you leave because you're my last coalition soldier, so we're going to do a long extension. We are finding enemies, but with the garrisons plus our national soldiers, we should be able to win that. Plus some reinforcements. Nearby region stabilized gets me a lot more. Wow, this is proving tough. This is why you need air forces, dude. It's why you need air forces. Let's go up the human terrain system and more dirt roads. I'm gonna try for it. A little bit of a combat boat boost somewhere, you know? Everything we can get. 28% chance is a bit much, so we're gonna go ahead and just accept it. Uh, what else we got here? Increase in inflation, uh, gain reputation. I'll go ahead and do that. Why not? Um, nothing else is going to boost me, I don't think. So let's just go for raw support level in a few areas and try to get, like, tuberculosis and stuff and start reducing the strength of the insurgents in these zones. We should be able to win a couple of them, which is good. And the more we push in, the more reinforcements I can get in here. Come on, a little bit more. What's going on over here? Oh, you're banned. Of course, antagonizing the insurgents is going to be tougher. More military! Stronger national soldiers. There's a camp. Finally, we can get rid of one of those. Okay, that's going to be big. We're going to end up pushing these guys into a corner where they're going to get unbelievably powerful, aren't we? I kind of want to leave them in this corner because this is where I can get the most reinforcements to help. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Subtle pressure. Don't publicly accuse. Insurgents, say you're sorry. There's a cave. All right, we need to go ahead and make sure we can burn those down quickly. Okay, we finally are about to win this fight. That's good. We're going to move you here next. Okay, should be able to win that easily. Um, and honestly, we can go ahead and just move in with these guys now, which is... Actually, yeah, no, right here. I still want to... Eh. We may need to wait until we get some more garrisons, basically. Uh, which, at this point, is just RNG. But we're going to get in here, and we're going to try to fight as much as we can. Okay, you need to stay. I know, I know. We're losing a lot of reputation, but oh well. That's right. Keep leaving this zone. Keep doing that. Okay. Uh, international forces can remain indefinitely. Fund the military once again. I mean, we have to at this point, right? That's the only way I have a chance. Elections due to be held soon. Let's do another long extension, unfortunately. Let's push them into the corner. Good. This zone has been secured. Gosh, we're still not getting anywhere in these mountains. Imprison all of your leaders. Yep. Man, we can make zero progress over here. Zero progress. Yeah. Alright. Uh, forget this. We're going to move over here where I have reinforcements. So we're just going to have to take that. Full elections. 14% chance. We lose a little bit for retreating in a fight, but I need the reinforcements. Cut your support, please. God. Guys. I'll tell you what. That's so much gunfire. It's making my head hurt. We could accept a peace deal right now, but if we do that, 
uh, we will lose so much reputation, I'm not sure we'll win, because there's so many insurgents on the map. If you were ever wondering if uh, air forces are good in this game, let this be a lesson to you. Yes, they are great. Tuberculosis. I think we can spread tuberculosis around, even in places we don't control. Another long extension necessary. Fund the military once again, please. How many more times can we stack that up? I don't know. We're going to keep trying. Come on, win this zone, get rid of these camps. They keep spawning too many. Every time we antagonize them, there's just more. A garrison, finally! Okay, that will make a big difference. I think. Come on, get rid of the camp. There we go. Alright, reduction in camp means we should be able to win this fight and get rid of you. They all get pushed, which means we can now get some more reinforcements over here, which should let us win. I hope. Especially if we can get rid of that camp. We just need to get a little bit more strength here, guys. Come on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Lordy. Electricity! Um... Export agencies. Uh, expand the healthcare markets. People like healthcare? Probably. Lordy. Alright, we're gonna push over here now. Might as well. We can get reinforcements as many- as many reinforcements as we're going to get. We're gonna get over here. We can pin these guys down and try to prevent them from constantly reinforcing over here. Uh, more subtle pressure. Cut your support. Fund the military again. This is one of the advantages of the banker. It's one of the reasons I chose it. If we have lots and lots of money, we can just keep doing this. We have to keep losing the reputation, and I hate to do it, because this is taking way too long, and it's cussing, caught it, uh, costing me a lot of score. God, listen to that. Ridiculous nonsense. Alright, these guys finally died, because they ran in here and died. We can get rid of this camp, which means we can reinforce, which means we finally got them. Reject the deal. Screw you guys. I'm going to kill you all. Okay, with all these reinforcements, you can finally go home. We don't need you anymore. We just need to win this fight. God, we can't! Even with all of this, we can't! Subtle pressure, cut your support. If they will leave this zone and try to go somewhere else, we can hopefully split them up and win. Okay, this is this is actually giving me a headache. Fund the military! There they split them up, which means we can hopefully win something. Ah, no. Casualties is what I need. Elections due to be held. If we can just get rid of this camp, we just need to stay alive above zero long enough that this camp dies and we're fine. Full reform! Let's get some extra reputation. There we go. Camp's gonna go. Camp's gonna go. Here we go! Come on! Oh my god. Full elections! More reputation. Finally! Okay. Stay alive long enough that we can win this fight. Stay alive long enough we can win this fight. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. I need to keep you. Um... Reject the deal again. Got him! Finally! Oh my god. Alright, send home. You... Ah, oh, they spawned again. But there's not gonna be too many of them, right? No! Oh. <laughs> we need to get rid of this cave. And quickly. Got rid of it. Good. Insurgent threat increasing. You go here. We're gonna get rid of these camps. We're gonna get rid of these caves. Fund the military. $91. It's worth it. Every penny, it's worth it! Oh my god, stop it, stop it, stop it right now. No! Oh my god, I hate them so much. Alright, we're gonna clear them out. These guys are gonna die. These guys are dead. Oh my gosh, alright. You go here, you go... Like, I don't know, here? Get rid of the camp. We, we just won, right? Oh my god. Frickin' without air forces, man. This is one of the reasons I felt like I needed to do this earlier. It sounds like it's not that big a deal. Oh, you don't have air forces. It's a big freaking deal, dude. The alternative, of course, would have been to back off and let them go into rural zones so I could have controlled the uh, mountains. And then it would have been an easier time for us to finish them off if we could keep them surrounded. But I wasn't going to do that. That's just too much. All right. Woo! That continues. What's our next perk? Private military contractors. Coalition soldier is extended and with funds instead of reputation. Not bad. Start with more garrisons could be helpful. Significant number of civilian initiatives already funded. I like this because what we're going to do is we're going to stack up on our uh, extra support level plus with some civilian initiatives. Means we're basically going to get a lot of early support. That actually is a huge advantage, so I'm going to go for that. Alright, this is where we're going to end this video. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I'd ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.